everyone welcome back my name is Rika and this is a house of stitch and stash today's video is gonna be a little bit different um, you're not gonna be able to see my actual face um, one because today is Sunday um, November 15th and I thought I would share with you guys the small um, collection I have of dimensions gold collections I know collection collection um, so I just been starting to collect these very recently so I don't have a lot but what I do have um, I do like so some I don't know if I'll ever stitch but some I absolutely love so um, yeah so I like them um, recently because um, here it's a little bit harder to kit um, some patterns up and I love that the the dimensions what you see from like the picture is what you get and so I really love that about these kits and two it has everything that you need inside the kit so yes um, I'm not gonna put them in like little groups I'm just gonna just grab it from the little tote um, bin that I keep them and then we'll go from there so the first one is this soul of the rose this um, piece is um, very beautiful I think this is one of the first few dimensions kit that I ever owned I actually think this is an out of print in the United States but you can get these um, in Russia so I've um, asked Luda about a place to buy these pattern or this kit and she um, told me about a seller on Instagram and what I'll try to do is I'll try to put the information in the description box so that you guys can check um, him out. I also have bought some kits on eBay and um, there is a seller there that is I've gotten my stuff from him before and um, yeah it just takes a while because it's coming from Russia but they do um, reprints in Russia of certain kits like this one so if you look closely um, that is how the pattern looks like or the, the picture would look like in the end and actually I picked this one and it's the first one because I'm currently working on this and I actually just recently took her out of the little um, whip box that I keep my things in and um, I was first like afraid that I lost all these gold threads but I found where I put them I put them safely somewhere and then you know when you're moving and you're like where on earth did I put those gold threads but it uses the DMC gold threads which are not fun to work with but the effect is very lovely so I decided to keep stitching on it um, all dimensions well not all some most of the dimensions gold are done on Ada or they put the Ada but it includes the fabric the needle and all the threads and then the directions that you need for the price it's I feel like it's they're pretty good so next one I have my little pineapple there you saw you got you guys saw this one at my latest video this is peonies and Canterbury bells I'll put that there if it doesn't slide my table is very slippery so we might slide but I love this because I really love peonies. They're my favorite flowers. And I really, oh, see, I knew it. And I really love stitching flowers. It makes me happy. Um, even though it's like winter or fall outside, whatever, whatever weather it is outside, I just love um, flowers. And I also do watercolor painting and peonies are my favorite flowers to paint the most so I think I'm gonna start either this one or the other oriental splendor after I finish the most recent one that I'm working on so yeah this is very very nice 
If you'd like to see a finished product of this piece, go watch Cross Stitch with Luda. Um, she stitched this and it is beautiful. So I like that. Also Dimensions uses, um, uses a um, half stitches to get to give you that look, the dimension look. Spider called dimensions, I guess. And they also use five strands of threads on half stitches to give you that three dimensional stitched look. And obviously, they also use a lot of back stitching. As you guys can see, that's a ton of back stitching in that piece. But like I said, the result is really amazing and it's really worth it. Uh, they also use couching and um, a lot of French knots in their patterns. So it does challenge you a little bit um, to complete a piece. And most of them are pretty full coverage. You'll some of these, I think this one, you can kind of see the fabric on it. I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know what the actual pattern looks like. But yeah, it's really pretty pretty. This is Peonies and Canterbury Bells. Okay. Sorry if it's loud outside, but everyone and every every kid in the neighborhood is in the playground behind my house. Okay, this one. Um, this is the Magnificent Wizard. Okay, first of all, this is one of those I don't know if I would ever stitch this piece. But maybe someday I will. Um, apparently, this one particular kit is very hard to find. I do think that they reprinted this. I'm not very, um, I'm not very well versed as far as like Russian sellers and what is reprinted or not printed. And so I just kind of follow some um, Instagram accounts to let me know. And obviously Luda, she also likes dimensions. And so I kind of, you know, I watch her video pretty regularly. And so she kind of knows more about like what is available in the Russian market. But this one, I don't know if I'll ever stitch this piece. <laughs> But I was like, it was for sale on a good price. And I think at one point on eBay, this kit was being sold for, I don't know, like a hundred something plus dollars. It's still like, I mean, it's not, I mean, right now you could, like, the Dimension kit is, would run you between, I would say 45 to, well, $30 to about 60, $65. So, yeah, and then if you really are desperate for a kit, then you could pay up to like $100 to $200 easy. But I don't follow like eBay and that. I just kind of like pick what I like and I search what I, what I see that I like. So, yeah, Magnificent Wizard. Then the next one is another wizard. This is one of those. This is a reprint. Scarlet Wizard. This is one of the ones that I apparently are is also hard to find um, before, but they reprinted it recently, and it is beautiful. I mean, it looks like it could be a fun stitch, but maybe someday, if we ever have grandchildren, <laughs> maybe I have like a grandkid who's into wizards or like magical things. I don't know, or dragons. So I was like, whatever. Maybe someday I'll stitch that. But you know, it's part of my. Um, collection now and like I said my collection is very new so I don't really have a lot I have some but not a lot so that's that um, next one is very recent purchase this one is uh, Santa's journey stocking I bought this on Amazon I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I bought this on Amazon but um, as you guys can see, it is beautiful. It's not that hard to find. So you guys can still buy this kit. I had this idea of stitching um, my husband and I and maybe the boys uh, Christmas stocking for the house. And um, I was like looking at Dimensions Gold or Dimensions Kit. But the problem is, like I said, I change my Christmas decorations every year. And so I'm like, I don't know. Maybe that could be something that always stays the same. Every year would be my Christmas stockings if I ever complete like a whole set. But yeah, so very pretty. This one comes with um, beads. 
Uh, I probably should start talking about that, like the fabric and stuff. As you guys can see, um, the China, if it's made in China, it comes with this thread organizer. And then you'll see that if it's made in the United States, then it doesn't. And you have to sort the threads. But this one comes with the beads. And then um, obviously the threads. And see, you guys can kind of see like there's a gold thread there. That's kind of how it looks like. Um, wonder where, where they use. Oh, okay. I see it. I think they use the gold threads for this part right here. But yeah, very, very pretty. I love, I love this Santa. I think it's like timeless, a timeless piece if I ever do it. And it's by, designed by Peggy Abrams and that's the size 16 inches is the size of the of the kit i don't know the the it doesn't say the count of the fabric oh there you go it's, it says 18 count white ada and it has the felt the beads the needles and obviously instructions so that's the stocking okay next kit is another recent purchase um this one is Oriental Splendor. I've always wanted to stitch this piece. Like the first time I saw this, um, I'm pretty sure Luda also showed this. That's why I knew about it. But I saw a stitch, um, one of these stitched in Shepherd's Bush in Utah. And it's amazing. It's beautiful. It was way up, up, up like where they had it displayed. But from what I can tell in person, it was beautiful. It has a lot of... Um, French knots. I know Luda said that she think I think she'll work on the French knots for like three or four days. But it's beautiful. I feel like if I have have this piece stitch, it will go well with my decor in the house. And um, this is designed by Lena Lu. Lena or Lena Lu. Lena Lu. I don't know how to pronounce her name. And then the fabric that comes with it is um i don't know the color it doesn't say but it's 18 count so it is quite small so it would be very challenging to stitch but it's beautiful in the end so i love this all right um the next piece is this is not a dimensions gold so the dimension between this two um the dimensions gold are are more I would say more detailed than the dimensions and I feel like harder than the regular dimensions but this dimensions kit is a popular one a lot of people have stitched this piece I'm pretty sure Brenda from Handy Handwork Maniac have stitched this and completed it recently um recently meaning like within a year but it's beautiful it's called Victorian Charm and it contains um, 18 count navy ada and that's how it looks like it has a thread sorter this one you can find this kit pretty easily either on amazon prime or ebay so you don't have to really look hard as well as this one i believe i found this one on amazon prime as well this is one of the ones that you can read readily find Okay, um, next piece is, it even has a price tag, and I know where I bought it. This one is uh, Cherry Blossom Creek by Song Kim. And I love it because of the pink colors. So I um, grab, I think I, I bought this before we left the this, this, um, United States. And I knew that I wanted to start collecting dimensions. And so I was trying to find things that I could get um, easily first. And obviously you could use a coupon for the kits, like a 40% off coupon, but it is, it was $39.99. I think I paid like $27 for this kit. It comes with a 16 count light blue Ada. So it's not as bad as the 18 count um yeah it has a, a thread sorter so this kit is made in china and let's see i haven't looked at this but look it has a lot of backs uh, half stitching 
and then it also probably would use blended thread. So they use a lot of blended threads, a lot of back stitching, a lot of half stitches that are like five threads at a time. So yeah. Hopefully my husband will not come in here and interrupt us. I feel I have a feeling he's gonna be doing that in like shortly here. Okay, the next one is this Cozy Cove, and this is a popular one as well. This is by Charles Waisaki. And it is 18 by 9 inches. It's a very popular design. Are you going to interrupt me, honey? Yeah. But I'm recording, so you can't really have anything going. <laughs> I'll be done here shortly. Okay. Okay, sorry. So, um, you guys can see... It has, again, a lot of back stitching. I think Pam has done a Dimensions um, Gold before. Pam of Pam and Steph. So PG Soap. And it's also Charles Waisaki because she likes this designer. But yeah, so it's very pretty. You guys can see my husband in the background. Um, he's not happy because I'm watching, I'm doing this right now. Okay. Sorry, hon. I started, so I'm finishing. Um, it has 18 count ivory ada. Again, a thread sorter. So everything that you need is in here. You don't have to um, realize that you ran out of out of one thread or missing one. So that's why I'm really enjoying the dimensions right now because I don't have to look everywhere for one color. But some kits, for example, um, let me show you guys. I never showed you, um, this is the Postman kit. I just finished this piece and I showed it to you guys on my last floss tube. And I'm gonna do a separate video um, more closely like this so you guys can see the details of the project. But um, I did not do the braiding on this. I just kind of stuck them in here. And um, these are some of my leftover, not a ton because I wasn't using a thread sorter, I, a, thread store, a thread organizer either. And so I was missing a couple of um, kits and uh, kits like thread. So I was pulling from my other dimensions kit. You'll see it because they're open. Um, so I was like looking for the same color because dimensions dye their own threads. So you can't just replace it with the uh, DMC. Um, you can, but it might be like not as this, uh, not the same color. So then, yeah. But anyway, so next kit is this one. is is uh, Japanese Maiden by Robert Sauber, and like you see, this design uses half cross stitch for artistic effect. I don't know why I. But I just love this piece. I'm not really into Asian stitching, but then like I saw this one and I have to have it because it was it is beautiful. Um, her dress is amazing. Look at the detail of the back stitching. And then it has you even put like a tassel on her too. So and then a lot of half stitches on the background. Um, this is an American kit because the threads are not sorted they're in this it comes in okay i can i opened this already so i guess we can kind of look um but you can see here it comes in this little bundle with this yarn that color you can it tells you like this is um bundle number one and it comes with a thread sorter um organizer in here it, it's like a little, um, right here. And I think this one has the holes in them. So you put your threads in here and you actually um, like write the name or the number of the, of the threads that you're using. So this is an older kit. I'm pretty sure it is out of print. So you might have difficulty finding this kit. Um, I think I got it on eBay and the seller was very, um, they gave me a very good price because I just put it on offer and it accepted. Um, so yeah, I love this one and I would like to start that someday.
Oops. Okay, next kit is this one, which is the um, Charming Waterway. And I don't, I think I, well, I don't know. I don't remember where I got this one. There are some that were gifted to me by my mother-in-law for Christmas last year. I just kind of like give like give her like my Amazon Prime list. But this one, um, I don't know if it's out of print. Like I said, um, I don't follow the trends on the mentions kit. But just recently I've been collecting because like I said, they're easy to, not easy to stitch, but they're just easier as far as preparing them. We don't need a lot of work. And it comes with 16 count gray Ada. Um, and like the other, like the American kits, they're not pre-sorted, but the, Asi the Asian, the Chinese um, kit that are made in China, they're pre-sorted already. So all you have to do is really start. Um, and yeah. Okay, next one is this one by, who made this? I don't even know. It doesn't even have a name. Oh, Kim Norlian. But I love this because of the um, reflection on the lake. It is lake, right? Or, yeah, pond. Cabin fever. I opened this because I needed, I was needing a certain color for the postman for me to finish. And it has, I have a ton of that color in here. So it has... Uh, 18 count ivory ada so this would be also detailed um, stitching you guys can see on the trees and I think it also has French knots which is right there but a lot of half stitches so this might not be super duper difficult to do as far as the cross stitches go it will probably go really fast because it's only half, like a ton of half stitching. So maybe, maybe next, the next project that I do. Um, it's very beautiful. And this is probably going to be the most difficult part of this because you probably will be changing your threads a lot because of all that confetti looking flowers. But yeah. Okay, next one is this one by Charles Lindbragh, Underwater Paradise, and I think I got this from eBay, but I thought it's very cute with all the colors. I don't know if you can find this kit anywhere. It looks like this is an American kit. It's old. Um, see, it's still on like the little thread sorter and stuff but yeah I haven't opened it yet very pretty maybe someday um, I'll stitch it with all the little fishes and the corals and whatnot okay the next one is oh okay so I have a problem well, never mind. I'm saying that. Okay, there's one. There's one kit in here that I have. A, I have a problem with. This one I got from Hobby Lobby. I use a coupon on this piece. This is a treasured time. You can find this almost in any any Hobby Lobby there is. Um, it looks very cute. Maybe I should have done this instead of the peonies. Maybe I should start it. I don't know because it's. Christmas is just around a corner. Maybe this will get me into the Christmas spirit of things. But it is beautiful. And I took the fabric out of here. And I washed it. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> so I'm sure I can just find another fabric. But um, it has 16 count. It uses 16 count gray Ada. And... Um, it is by designed by Dennis P. Lee Wan. So, very cute. Very pretty. Okay, this is my problem kit. Because I'm pretty sure this is out of print. Because I don't see it anywhere. As far as like, 
on eBay or on Instagram. I don't know if anyone is selling this kit. kit. So this is my very first dimensions, um, dimension start ever. And I started this on Stitch Mania last year. Pretty sure it was Stitch Mania last year. Yeah. And this is Mary's bouquet. And again, I love like the peonies and they're just beautiful. But my problem is this. I do not know where the fabric that I started stitching and the first part of this pattern. They were together and I'm missing, I, I don't, I haven't fully unpacked. I feel like there's some boxes that I need to get, still get through. Maybe it's in there, but for some reason, I don't know where the actual project is. But as you can see, I have the threads and the second part of the pattern. And um, yeah, if you have this piece um, and you want to help me out, I was going to keep working on it. I was looking for it the other day. It was driving me crazy. I'm like, where on earth did I put that? I started this and I work on some of these little peonies here. And there's a lot of um, half stitches on this piece. I might um, end up using double threads for the black because you can definitely tell the fabric. And I don't think I like that uh, very much. I wanted to really cover up the threads, but um, this is stitched on, if I find the actual project, um, 16 count light blue Ada. I don't know where it is. Like I, that's why I was like, I'm, boxing most, most of my things the other day because I was looking for this piece and I don't know where I put it. I feel like it's in a basket of whips, but I don't know where, where they all went. Okay, um, what I'm going to do, because it's now almost 30 minutes of me talking, um, I am probably going to stop this. I'm going to continue tomorrow of like another part, another second part of my Dimensions collection. And, um, but so far, I hope you guys enjoyed watching whatever you saw. Um, and I know a lot of people are asking me where I've been buying them. And they, a lot of like people on Instagram have told me that they also want to work now on Dimensions because the quality of the work that you do get is really beautiful. And then whatever you see here is, like I said, whatever you see on the picture is really close to what your stitches will look like in the end and that's probably why i like about this um there's no guesswork to to it but yeah so yeah i hope you guys like that and i hope you guys are having a good sunday and um i'll see you guys on the next part i'm gonna put this away and then we'll continue again um tomorrow for dimensions gold collection part two all right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.